Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25182. And this build comes up with a few new updates to certain applications in Windows 11, of course, a whole list of fixes and some news regarding the expiring date for dev channel builds. So if you want to find out more about that, make sure to watch this video. But before showing you anything, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with this video. First of all, I want to show you the new expiration date for the dev channel builds and you can see it here it will be September the 15th of 2023. So of course, it is recommended that insiders update to this build to avoid build expiration notices. So for those of you who don't know what this is, well, these dev channel builds have an expiration date, you won't be able to use a certain build forever. Of course, this expiration date is around a year. But of course, I'm sure that if you're on this build, you will update to the next one and so on. First of all, we have some camera app updates, which will be related to the privacy shutter support. So with this release available to the Windows Insiders in the dev channel, camera app can now understand the state of privacy shutter on supported hardware like the Microsoft Modern Webcam or the integrated camera on main new Windows 11 laptops. If the shutter is blocking the view or if the laptop lid is closed, camera app will inform you and offer guidance. Also, Microsoft improved the camera app experience on ARM64 devices, so you'll see faster and better performance when you use the app. We also have a new update for the Microsoft Store, basically the new version 22207. Now what I'm going to tell you is related also to the camera app in Microsoft Store. You'll need to go into library and then click on get updates in order to get the latest updates for the camera and also for the Microsoft Store if you didn't get them already. So make sure to do that and you'll have the latest versions for both the camera app and also the Microsoft Store. So in this Microsoft Store update, we have screenshots and search results. You can now view screenshots and search results to help improve your browsing experience and also you can install games directly from the Microsoft Store app. When you find a game you like, you can install it right from the Microsoft Store without switching apps. Now let's talk about some fixes. Microsoft fixed an issue that was causing devices with low disk space to receive the download error ZOX 800 7001 in Windows Update trying to install the latest dev channel build. I saw this on certain forums so it's nice that this is fixed. They fixed an issue leading to some insiders experiencing a decrease in FPS when playing certain games in recent flights due to the wrong graphics card being used. Regarding the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue which could lead to the taskbar overflow flyout unexpectedly appearing on the opposite side of the screen. This was incorrectly noted as fixed in build 25179. They also fixed an issue that was causing animation on the taskbar that plays when a user switches from using a device and tablet posture to desktop while an overflow to incorrectly show when logging in. They also fixed an explorer.exe crash which could happen when determining if the taskbar overflow flow should display. This could happen when switching out of a full screen game. Regarding the start menu, Microsoft fixed a start menu crash that could prevent apps from launching from start. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue causing the left hand of the file explorer tile bar to not be draggable via mouse or touch for some insiders. This was a known issue for the last build. So basically, you just couldn't drag this top thing. But now this is nice that it's fixed. They also fixed an issue causing home documents, pictures and potentially other folders to become unexpectedly duplicated in File Explorer's navigation pane or appear on the desktop. Also selecting multiple folders and then using the context menu option to open them in a new tab will now actually do that rather than opening the first folder in a new tab and all the others in a new window. And we also have an, a few other fixes. Microsoft fixed an issue which could cause the camera light on a laptop to get stuck on after logging into your PC. And they also fixed an issue believed to be the root cause of some insiders seeing bug checks when opening and copying files from network locations. If you want to check out the list of known issues to know what to expect from this build you can check out the article below in the description but this was the build for today i hope you liked it a smaller build yet again but hopefully soon enough microsoft will come up with a bigger build if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day